sure both teams would rather be on the other side of the bracket, but nevertheless, it's early in the season, and it's all about learning right now. I'd have to agree with you, Dick. Let's see what happens in tonight's game between the Purdue Boilermakers and the Chaminade Silver Swords. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch up here? I think it's a major mismatch. You talk about David versus Goliath. I mean, they got to go out and play with no fear. They can't be worried. The Silver Swords are facing a very formidable opponent, Dick. What are the keys to their success? Hey, tonight the keys to their success are these, Brad. First of all, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers could be the story of this one, baby. Next, get your man on your hip after the shot, block out, and get after those boards. Third, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Trying to feed inside. Kicks it out. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? The small forward receives the pass. Step out on that screener. Way off target. The point guard receives the ball. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The small forward handles the feed. Got the high pick. Norris handles the pass. Tries for two. He bombs from outside. He drains it. The ball goes out of play. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Trying to go inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Got a high post flasher. They move it into the front court. Off the rim and no good. He shoots from the top of the key. He buries it. Let's see if it looks as good on the replay. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. They look to get it to the inside. Bradford fakes the shot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Dumps it in. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. From right in the circle, way off target. the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Gave it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. 
He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jumps in. Perfectly executed. Phillips is emotionally fired up. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. Stolen away. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. There's the trap. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. For the bucket. Drains the shot. Entry pass in the paint. Nice to have you along with us tonight. This is Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Ball handler's in trouble. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Unloads. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Stolen away. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Push right of basketball. He takes the shot. It's good. That's a 7-0 run. Right, right there, they missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special heart, feet in the post. And he'll kick it back outside. He takes the shot from the baseline. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He's got some room. He strokes it off the rim and no good. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Skip pass is picked off. Gave it up. Front of the city, though, always really the gate. Any offense. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Goes up for two. And he missed. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. That was nice. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. They work the perimeter. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Look 
They're going to move it around the perimeter. Picked off. Schaefer is down emotionally right now. Dick. Brad, I see a young man who's struggling at both ends of the court. From left of the circle, way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a spin down to the low block. Right he's got a variety of moves. He used the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Looking for a good shot. Puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. The dunk and one. Great job of going up strong and through the contact, baby. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. You've got that right, Brad. The Boilermakers go to the line for the first time in this game. He sinks it. Gave it up. Intercepted. He dials long distance. Got it. That's eight on answer. That basketball. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. we go he intercepts it time to pick up the defense here now for the bucket gets it to go they scored 12 in a row Working it around the perimeter. Now the high screen. Goes up for two. They still don't score. For two, perfectly executed. That's worth another look. <laughs> On the inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. In the paint. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the inside for the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Sometimes you go into a game like this, Dick, and you're expected to win, and the kids don't always pan out that way. Tonight, they're playing well. They really have been prepared mentally, physically, emotionally, and their execution has been supreme. Goes out of play. Obvious foul. Stand 
standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Fakes the jumper, gave it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He's not going to be happy with that call. What well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. And they come with a double team to stop it. The ball goes out of bounds. On the dribble, gives it up, overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. <laughs> Tries to get the D to bite. He puts it up, way off target. Some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. And a momentary look from three point land. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Buried it. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. For two. And he scores it off the glass. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. The ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Jump hook from the low block. Purdue are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. He makes the block. Nice rotation over blocking that shot. Dump it inside. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. And it goes in. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. On the outside. From the top of the circle, off the rim and no good. With the block on the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. 
Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Double team now, bad angle. Wide open for the shot from three point territory. Oh, yes. Play that back for me one time. Gave it up. And now they'll bring it up. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Way off target. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble. Gives it up. Number Got it. He paid no attention to the collision in midair and jammed that hole. Hey, Brad, he wanted to give you something to remember him by. He steps up to the line. Hits that one. Timeout's called on the court. a little change in direction here, Dick. I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Side. Stolen. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tempo of the game really important here. You want a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. He tries a jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. They're working around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Number 14 is charged with the foul. Looking for a good shot. Stolen away. He brought the ball back down to the floor and stripped him. The Silver Swords trail by 25. 
We've really been on a roller coaster here tonight, Dick. Any highlights of the half for our viewers? Hey, as we take a look at this dunk, Brad, I have to say nothing gets a college crowd into a game like the dunk. This one's certainly no exception, baby. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. Norris had what some might call an ordinary first half, partner. You know, Brad, I think he's sacrificing individual stats for the greater good of the team. Though it doesn't appear that being unselfish is working for them at this point, he might want to take a bigger offensive load. Dick, you start looking at this when you were a coach and you were down this big at halftime. <laughs> what are you thinking? Let's get out of here? They're really going to have to really, really regroup and come out with some fire and get some momentum. It's essential. They go on a spurt to get some confidence. If they don't get a spurt, hey, Brad, you got all your material ready? Because we're going to have to hit and talk about everything. Baseball, basketball, football. Hey, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Five second call approaching. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Got it. The Silver Swords are behind by 27. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Aaron's right about that, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. He didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten it to him about a second earlier. Look at that spacing. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. On the outside. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. That's an 8-0 run. Come up with a steal, and they do. He makes the shot. That's a 10 0 run. Change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. The power forward with the ball for two. Rims out. Up and inside. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Too physical. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, Ethan? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Oh, 
Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. And a momentary look from three-point land. The shooting guard gets the pass. He shoots from right of the circle. Drains the shot. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. And he scores despite the hack. Gave it up. The shooting guard gets the ball. He gets the bucket. Here's a double team. And they get the turnover. The center takes the feed. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Picks off the pass. Tries for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Great defense. Up and inside. Takes the pass in the paint. Number 14 with the fake. For the bucket. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Steals a pass. The kick out. The power forward takes the pass. Purdue have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Gets it back out. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Ten seconds on the shot clock. He goes for three. In the paint. There's the trap. Good job defensively. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. And he'll kick it back outside. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot.
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. play anticipating well when you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action he tries the three Shamanai are on a nice little run at the moment hey now to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout there's a nice block from behind Dick yeah, that's good timing for the defense. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting. Books. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Definitely a foul. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, as you know, it all comes down tonight to getting the stops and executing on offense, and that's what we've seen all night long. All right, thanks, Aaron. They'll work it around the arc. High post screen. So effective that screen. Goes. They scored seven in a row. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. He looks for three. Oh, yes! Picks off the lazy pass. They push it up on the break. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He fouled him. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. He makes his second shot. They work the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He fires from long range. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. We've got a blowout so far, folks. Hey, when you're down this much late, you have to make sure you don't fall into any bad habits. You have to treat this like a practice now. They work it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. Goes up for two. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. for a good shot looking for a good shot he makes a nice shot fake goes up for two great play to take that to the basket up and inside working it around the perimeter They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Dickie he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. <laughs> On 
on the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. From the top of the key, the shot won't fall. Gets a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration in possession, Brad. Williams is getting hassled by the crowd. They're going to try to rattle him. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. Moving it around the perimeter. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He comes away with it. He shoots from the top of the key, and he can't hit the shot. Gave it up. Trigger off the rim and no good. Purdue are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Picks off the lazy pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. In the paint, there's a double team waiting there. For the bucket, rims out. Jumped in front to take it away. He up fakes. For two. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Sets the screen for his teammate. Way off target. Gave it up. Picked off. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Right now, going to focus defensively. There's the fake. It might be safe just to start that bus up. I think this one's over. Yeah, now it's about damage control. Good time to get some of the bench players into the game to avoid injury. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. 
This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Misses his first shot. He makes the second. Working around the perimeter. Tries for two. He gets the bucket to fall. Intercepted. Gave it up. Tries for two. Easy one. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Jumped in front to take it away. For the bucket. The lane. Are you kidding me? Show me how he did that. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Picks off the pass. The ball goes out of play. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Intercepted. He takes the shot. He's money with a shot. Picked out of the air. it up. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Here's a double team. The ball goes out of bounds. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. block but opted against it there's the screen up on top off the rim and no good got it down the low block on the dribble gives it up got to take some pride on the defensive end Ten seconds to put up a shot. Up and inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Turnovers, Dick. They just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. The 
up and inside. Coach looks on. Ooh, look at a shot block. It'll get some contact. Nice hops. Well, Deck, this is unbelievable. I didn't expect this. I think they should have won, and they couldn't find a way to get anything done tonight. Well, they're aggressive because they understand one another, and they love playing together. They are so unselfish. I think their commitment to winning is what it's all about. Win, win, and win. Chaminade loses this game in a mocking fashion. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were their favorites coming into it. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.